I love showing you things that are different, like how to use a square to mark a circle. Now, it might be called a circular saw because the blade is round, but it's not usually used to cut circles, but today, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And why would you need to cut a circle out of timber? So you can make a very stylish cheese platter. First up, I've just got to find the centre of my board. I'll just be going from corner to corner. All right, I now have my centre mark and drilled a hole. So on a scrap bit of timber, I've just transferred that measurement and drilled a hole. Now I can get a screw, put it through our timber, and then put that through our centre mark and fix it off. We need to attach our circular saw. We just want to make sure that the blade is up against the edge where we took our measurement. To attach the saw, I've just screwed through the base plate. All right, now this is the most important part to be able to use a circular saw to cut a circle. It's about setting the depth. With your blade, you'll see that you've got a kerf, which is the distance between the tip of the blade and where the solid blade starts. You can't go past that point. So the trick is to do minimum depth and multiple passes. Not minimal depth. <laughs> And now you've gone around once, set your depth a little bit deeper and do it again. And there you go, a circle cut with a circular saw. But that's not all this tool can do. Now I'm going to use it to create a decorative edge. To do that, I'll just turn the saw on a 90 degree angle and push the blade up against the opposite edge. And there you have it, a platter using a circular saw. Now I just need to sand it and put some oil on it and it's ready to use. If you want to impress your friends at your next gathering, make sure you have a go at making one of these. They will love it and everything that's on it.